By the end of this video, you're going to know the 20 best places to visit in Greece in 2024 because Greece has so much more to offer than just its famous islands of Santorini and Mykonos. From the historical wonders of Athens and the mystical ruins of Delphi to the breathtaking landscapes of Meteora and the serene beauty of Folagandros, Greece is a treasure trove of diverse experiences. Personally, my favorite are the last three, and you're going to love them too if you love to explore ancient ruins, relax on picturesque islands, and savor delectable Greek cuisine. First stop in our journey today is Folagandros. This island of incredible natural beauty located between Paros and Santorini. Despite its proximity to two of the most cosmopolitan Greek islands, Folagandros has a very different style. Relatively untouched by international tourists, the island still manages to keep its unspoiled charm. Its wild natural landscape and peaceful atmosphere make this island a great destination for relaxing holidays away from the hustle and bustle. It boasts traditional Cycladic architecture. That means that its village, Chora, is made up of tiny whitewashed houses, narrow alleys, colorful windows and doors, blue domed churches, and it is a very picturesque place not only to visit, but also to stay at. Quite frankly, every corner looks like a Cycladic postcard. The numerous hotels located in Chora are perfect for a romantic stay with sea view. With its laid-back atmosphere, it's perfect for those seeking tranquility and a slower pace of life. If you love to visit more popular, iconic Greek destinations, this next place is probably going to be your favorite. Santorini is the most popular Greek destination and a worldwide famous island. It is one of the most magical places you will ever see. Once you set foot on the island, you will feel like stepping into a heavenly world where all the shades of red create unreal sunsets. The caldera offers the most dramatic sea views you have ever seen, while the enormous cliffs are dotted with lovely cycladic whitewashed houses. The enthralling sunset view in Oya, the minimal cycladic architecture, the luxurious hotels, the gourmet restaurants, the dramatic rocky landscape, and the imposing volcano are just some of the reasons that will make you have a crush on this unique island. The island was reshaped after a huge eruption of the volcano that occurred in the 17th century BC and formed the breathtaking caldera. The landscape of Santorini is definitely one of a kind. The vacant accommodation is incomparable too. Infinity pools, luxury whitewashed villas, and five-star services promise to make your stay unforgettable. Spoil yourself with spa treatments, wine tasting, vineyards tours, shopping, and romantic dinners with a view of the endless cerulean Aegean Sea. Our next destination is for the beach enthusiasts. Situated at an idyllic location in Messinia in the Mediterranean area, a few kilometers away from Pylos, Voidokilia is one of the most impressive beaches to visit in Greece. The Bay of Voidokilia is covered with silky sand and has an unusually symmetrical shape. In the shape of the Greek letter Omega, its sand forms a semicircular strip of dunes. On the land-facing side of the strip of dunes is Jalova Lagoon, an important bird habitat. The beach has been named a place of particular natural beauty. This area houses numerous wildlife species, and since it is a designated Natura 2000 inches site, any type of facility is prohibited. At the same time, some archeological sites are also located there. Of course, we can't avoid visiting the capital and the largest city in Greece. Athens, the capital of Greece, is a city where ancient history meets modern vibrancy. As one of the world's oldest cities, Athens boasts a rich heritage that dates back over 3000 years. At the heart of the city lies the Acropolis, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, featuring iconic structures like the Parthenon, the Erechtheion, and the Temple of Athena Nike. These ancient monuments offer a glimpse into the glory of classical Greece and are a must-see for any visitor. Athens is also home to the bustling Plaka district, known as the Neighborhood of the Gods, with its narrow streets, 
charming shops and traditional tavernas. Here you can enjoy authentic Greek cuisine, including moussaka, souvlaki, and baklava, while soaking in the lively atmosphere. For a more modern experience, the district of Kolonaki offers upscale boutiques, trendy cafes, and vibrant nightlife. An interesting fact about Athens is that it hosted the first modern Olympic Games in 1896, and you can visit the Panathenaic Stadium, which is made entirely of marble and was used for ancient athletic contests. Don't miss the chance to see the changing of the guard at the Hellenic Parliament in Syntagma Square, a ceremonial display that happens every hour. To enjoy panoramic views of Athens, take a hike up Mount Lycabettus, the highest point in the city, or visit the Areopagus Hill near the Acropolis for a breathtaking sunset. After an exhilarating day of exploring Athens, you might want to unwind on one of Greece's stunning beaches. Porto Katsuki is the most famous beach in Lefkada, located on the southwestern side of the island. Its name means the Port of the Goats. A car park and a couple of beach bars to enjoy the breathtaking view of the Ionian Sea lie above the impressive bay. Visitors have to go down a few steps to reach this white pebbled coast with its exotic deep waters. Without a doubt, one of the most beautiful beaches you can find. The bluest water with gorgeous white cliffs all around, just amazing. If you would like to feel mystical aura of the ancient site, you definitely should visit Delphi. Once considered the center of the ancient world is a captivating site nestled on the slopes of Mount Parnassus. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is renowned for the Oracle of Delphi, where the High Priestess Pythia delivered prophecies to seekers from all over the Greek world. The Sanctuary of Apollo, the heart of Delphi, boasts impressive ruins, including the Temple of Apollo, the ancient theater, and the stadium where the Pythian Games were held. Pythian Games, held every four years, were second only to the Olympics in importance. For tourists, it's recommended to visit the Delphi Archaeological Museum, which houses remarkable artifacts like the Charioteer of Delphi and the Sphinx of Naxos. Wear comfortable shoes for exploring the extensive ruins and take plenty of water, especially in the summer months. Early morning or late afternoon visits are ideal to avoid crowds and enjoy cooler temperatures. Don't miss the Tholos of Delphi, a striking circular building that remains a mystery to historians regarding its exact purpose. After exploring, take a moment to enjoy the breathtaking views of the valley and the Gulf of Corinth, which add to the mystical aura of this ancient site. Another great destination for history lovers is Corfu, one of the most beautiful and romantic islands of the Ionian Sea. From lush green hills to noble mansions, and from idyllic beaches to impressive museums, this island has everything it takes to please any type of traveler. Strongly influenced by the Venetians, the French, and the English, Corfu Town, the capital, is a brilliant base for exploration. Get lost in the narrow cobblestone alleys, the so-called Candunia, visit museums, such as the Museum of Asian Art, walk down the famous Liston Promenade, stroll around the huge Spionata Square. The whole Corfu town squeezes out a nostalgic charm. The island is also famous for one thing in particular, its food. Based on meat, fish, pasta, and herbs, the island's gastronomy will excite those who love good food. The excellent restaurants and traditional taverns are the best places to taste the local delicacies. If you manage to peel yourself away from the enchanting Corfu, move to the coasts, where beautiful beaches are nestled. Its sandy coves, surrounded by green forests and mountains, are some of the best beaches in Greece. Milos, this beach is one of the most beautiful in Greece, and surely the most unique one. Milos is famous for its unique geological formations and stunning beaches. It is located along the coastal road east of Adamas, northeast of Milos. It is the most photographed spot on the island thanks to its out-of-this-world lunar setting. The island offers a diverse landscape, from the white volcanic rocks of Sarakiniko Beach to the colorful villages of Klima and Mandrakia. 
Milos is ideal for those who love exploring natural wonders in less crowded spots. Another gem and the capital of Cyclades in the Aegean Sea is Syros. This Greek island is 78 nautical miles southeast of Athens. It is praised for its mesmerizing architecture and calm atmosphere, and is ideal for visitors seeking a destination less busy than the celebrated islands of Santorini, Mykonos, and Paros. Syros is very popular among families and couples, as it is home to several points of interest. Beaches with crystal clear waters, lovely accommodations and restaurants serving high quality and tasty dishes. There is another historical town which will gift you with amazing memories. Also known as the Knight's Island, Rhodes combines a rich history, impressive medieval architecture, amazing beaches and a lovely natural scenery. Rhodes combines cosmopolitan vibes with medieval architecture in a unique way. The natural landscape, imposing buildings, ancient towns, and picturesque villages meet amazing beaches, fashion boutiques, top restaurants, and dance clubs. No wonder why it never fails to surprise travelers from all over the world. The most important monuments of the island can be seen in the Old Town. The Old Town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the best preserved medieval towns in Europe, attracting millions of visitors every year. Stroll around the paved alleys, visit the Venetian Castle, the Street of the Knights, and the Palace of the Grand Master. The atmosphere will captivate you. Apart from exploring the Old Town, there are so many things to do on the island. If you are visiting Rhodes in Greece, then a trip to Lindos is a must. This charming old town is wrapped around the ancient Acropolis of Rhodes and spills down to several excellent beaches, including St. Paul's Bay Lindos, one of the highlights of the entire Dode Canese. With magical clear water, great amenities, and stunning topography, this is a place to while away a day, soaking up the warmth and the top shelf Greek hospitality. Visit the imposing Acropolis of Lindos, the Valley of Butterflies, the Monastery of Falerimos, do water sports and tours. Stroll around the historical town, visit its medieval monuments, discover imposing castles, eat at excellent restaurants, and swim at its amazing beaches. For example, St. Paul. This incredible beach lies under the ancient Acropolis of Lindos. Golden sand and pebbles compose the beach where sunbeds are available for rent. Rocks envelop the beach, giving bathers the opportunity to dive into crystal clear turquoise waters. The bay is unique in shape and topography, in that is a circular shape almost completely surrounded by cliffs and rocky outcrops. It was probably once a solid part of roads, but a sinkhole of sorts has developed after an earthquake or major weather event. In the heart of the Saronic Island group, our next stop, Hydra, it is an excellent choice for a short trip from Athens. The picturesque island is full of elegant mansions and historical points of interest. It has also been a filming location for the A Girl in Black and Boy on a Dolphin movies, and the main holiday destination of the renowned singer Leonard Cohen, who owned a house in town. Another interesting fact about the island is that no cars are allowed on it, keeping the atmosphere as quaint and serene as it can get. Elegant stone mansions, donkeys walking around the narrow alleys, churches and little shops set a picturesque waterfront scenery that seems straight out of a fairy tale. Next destination on our today's journey is hands down one of the most impressive regions of the country. Meteora. It is located on the northern side of Greece, in Thessaly, this spectacular place is included in the World Heritage List. The famous monasteries date back to the Byzantine era, and they lie on the top of massive rock formations. The breathtaking natural landscape was shaped approximately 60 million years ago. Religious tourism is very popular in this area. Numerous travelers arrive every year to visit the six stunning monasteries on the tops of the rock formations. Right next to Meteora lies Kalambaka, a lovely town, which you can use as a base of your exploration. The most fascinating characteristic of the town 
is the spectacular setting of the precipitous Meteora rocks that border the northern part of the skyline. Kalambaka has a population of about 6,500 inhabitants. It is situated about 207 meters above sea level. There is a plethora of restaurants and traditional taverns in the town of Kalambaka and the surrounding villages. There are numerous hotels, restaurants, bars, and gift shops. Another great island which is underrated for tourists located in the western part of the Cyclades is Sifnos, which belongs to the Cyclades Islands group and sits in the heart of the Aegean Sea, close to Milos and Serifos Islands. Boasting its authentic Cycladic architecture, Sifnos Island is dotted with cubic whitewashed houses, over 300 beautiful churches, dovecotes, and little earthenware shops. The island oozes a fairy tale charm that makes it feel like it's a world away from the mainland. What it is mostly famous for is its gastronomy. Home to the famous Greek chef Nikolaos Tselementes, Sifnos has undoubtedly amazing food. You can taste the yummy local recipes, such as capper salad, chickpea soup, and mastelo at its excellent restaurants and taverns. One of the best things to do there is to visit its quaint villages, especially if you want to experience the essence of the island. Get lost in the narrow alleys of Castro, eat the best local pastries in Artemonas, and have a taste of the cosmopolitan side of the island in Apollonia. Every village is unique. If you would like to get an opportunity to walk in a potentially active volcanic crater, you should visit Nisiros. Nisiros is a heavenly island that belongs to the Dodkanese group of islands in the Aegean Sea. Thanks to its unspoiled charm and secluded location, it is shaping up to be one of the hottest alternative destinations in Greece. The trademark and main pole of attraction of the island is its volcano, which is located in the center of the island. This is the youngest volcano in Greece, as it is only 160,000 years old, and it is still active. In fact, it is one of the four active volcanoes in Greece, together with those of Santorini, Methana, and Milos. Many volcanologists and geologists visit the island every year to explore the volcano. Our next stop is a Greek island in the Ionian Sea and a well-known summer resort. Zakynthos is one of the most exotic Greek islands. Sitting adjacent to the Peloponnese in the mesmerizing Ionian Sea, it boasts a wonderful natural landscape and magical beaches. Exploring the island, you'll discover picturesque hilltop villages, traditional monasteries, and dreamy natural landscapes. What's more, the beaches are home to the endangered Coretta sea turtles, which lay their eggs in the fine white sand every year. You might be lucky enough to see them getting out of the sea to hide their eggs under the sand. In that case, you must not disturb them. The trademark of Zante, as the island is known in Italian, is the scenic Navaggio shipwreck beach. Many pictures and postcards have tried to capture its beauty, but the reality is far better. Only accessible by boat, Navaggio Beach has magical turquoise waters and white sand, surrounded by dramatic towering cliffs. After exploring the emerald bays of the island, take a break from the beach life to visit Zakynthos Town, the capital of the island. Strongly influenced by the Venetians, who had also named the island Fiore di Levante, Flower of the East, the town has many hidden gems to explore. St. Mark's Square, the Venetian Castle, Solomo Square, and the post-Byzantine Museum are some of the best places to visit. How can we skip the birthplace of the most famous and important sporting event in the ancient world? One of the most important archaeological sites in Greece, Olympia is located on the western side of Peloponnese. This was the place where the ancient Olympic Games were organized, and this is why an entire sanctuary to God Zeus was constructed next to the athletic installations to honor the gods before the beginning of the Games. The spirit of the ancient Olympic Games inspired their revival in modern times. The Olympic Games were suspended in 394 AD by the Byzantine Emperor Theodosius as a pagan ritual. They started again many centuries later, in 1896, after the idea of the French Baron Pierre de Coubertin. 
The most characteristic sites of Olympia, Greece, are the ancient stadium, the temples of Zeus and Hera, and certainly the archaeological museum, with impressive exhibits and findings from excavations in the region. Next to the ancient site is a traditional village with lush greenery and many tourist facilities. Things to do in the region include also hiking and cycling. Our virtual journey concludes at the ultimate Greek hotspot, where all the excitement awaits. Mykonos is famous for its minimal cycladic architecture. Mykonos is full of traditional whitewashed houses and blue-domed churches. The island's trademark is the beautiful traditional windmills in front of Little Venice, where one can enjoy the magical sunset and capture the colorful light washing up the Cora, main town. Pure bliss. Located in the center of the Cyclades Island group, Mykonos is one of the most famous Greek islands for its cosmopolitan atmosphere and vivid nightlife. No wonder it's widely known as the Ibiza of Greece. Your vacation there will be an experience of a lifetime, and there's a whole heap of amazing things to do. Marvel the enchanting sunset from Little Venice. Stroll around the narrow paved streets of Chora. Enjoy your stay at the luxurious hotels, dance the day away at epic beach parties, and swim at the exotic beaches. What can we say about the beaches? They are simply unique. Buzzy or secluded, pebbly or sandy, featuring emerald, azure, or deep blue waters, the island has epic beaches for every taste. The best part? You can enjoy lots of water sports activities, such as kite surfing. Do you want more things to do? The options vary. Visit the historical Delos Island, archeological site in the Aegean Sea's Cyclades Archipelago, and the mythological birthplace of Apollo. You can island hop to Santorini or any other islands, participate in various tours, and many more activities. During your visit to Greece, make sure to indulge in the delightful flavors of authentic Greek cuisine. Savor the rich, layered taste of moussaka, a traditional baked dish featuring eggplant, minced meat, and bechamel sauce. Enjoy the juicy, perfectly grilled souvlaki, skewers of marinated meat often served with pita and tzatziki. And don't miss out on the sweet, flaky baklava, a dessert made with layers of phyllo pastry, nuts, and honey syrup. Each dish offers a delicious taste of Greek culture and culinary tradition, providing a feast for both the palate and the soul. Be sure to explore local tavernas and markets to fully experience the diverse and vibrant Greek food scene. Thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of the top 20 must-visit destinations in Greece. From the ancient ruins of Athens to the stunning beaches of Zakynthos, Greece offers a diverse and unforgettable travel experience. We hope this guide has inspired your next adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more travel tips and guides. Please let us know in the comments which place you liked the best. Happy travels! Goodbye!